Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this Life Behind Bars video. This time we're talking about HD 101, which is everything that you need to know to get started in a life on two wheels behind bars, aka getting to know, learning what you need to do in order to ride, get riding. In case you don't know who I am, my name is Dawn and I work here at FX Capera Harley Davidson. Obviously, <laughs> this was something that was supposed to be live on Facebook, and I apologize it wasn't. I didn't learn until the last minute that you actually do need to have a separate streaming software capability. And so by the time I figured that all out, it was past the time and Facebook cut me off. So I still recorded it, and it is here for your enjoyment. So as always, be, if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and on to HD 101. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this little HD 101 journey that we're about to begin. This is brought to you by FX Repair Harley Davidson and there is no better motorcycle to ride. So let's get to it. Kind of biased, I know, but it's true. So what we'll be covering is the benefits of motorcycling, why owning a Harley is different than any other brand, the different families of Harley bikes, what to consider when you're buying riding gear, how to get started, taking the basic riders course, and a club for people who tend not to join clubs, and that's the Harley Owners Group. Motorcycles are more than mere modes of transportation. They are the keys to unforgettable vistas, barren mountain passes, remote wilderness, and all the amazing backcountry landscapes America has to offer. The benefits of motorcycling, you've got the benefits of saving money at the gas pump, easy parking close to the door, more bang for your buck, they offer more performance per dollar than any other vehicle, Camaraderie, bikers are part of a community. Individuality, bikers have more of an individual style. And then not to mention the adventure factor. Escape the everyday on your motorcycle. When you stop for directions, the answer tends to be longer rather than short. People ask where you're from and how long you've been riding. In a car, you're really in a compartment. Looking through the car window is like watching TV. On a motorcycle, the window is gone. Car, you're really in a compartment. Looking through that car window is like watching TV. On a motorcycle, the window is gone. You're in, completely, you're in complete control. Wait, let me go back. Oh, I can't go back. Great, all right, we'll just go forward then. With metro bikes, you have a different riding position, and the and usually the rider has to fit the bike. Passenger comfort may not be all that comfortable, and you might not be able to customize the bike exactly how you want it. Metric bikes are also lighter, which makes it easier for the wind to exhaust the rider. And dealerships may be few and far between, so if you're on a long road trip and your bike breaks down, it might be hard to find someone knowledgeable enough to fix it. On a Harley, you have a more comfortable cruiser riding position. You can easily add a sissy bar backrest for passenger comfort. Your Harley can be modified to fit you. Handlebar seat and foot pegs can all easily be changed, plus there are more ways for you to customize your Harley. With a, the heavier, well-balanced Harley, once you start rolling, that weight becomes your friend because a heavier bike is more stable and easier to ride. Of course, Harley-Davidson dealerships are easily found across the U.S. and Canada. And Harley-Davidson motorcycles have been around for over 115 years now. The motor company began in 1903. Before we get more about the bikes let me explain a little bit about horsepower and torque in case you're not familiar with exactly what they mean simply put horsepower is the energy needed to move a bike or a car truck 
semi, so on. And torque is what you feel. It's what sits you back in the seat when you twist the throttle or step on the gas. You can have all the horsepower you want, but without torque, you won't get it off the line. So now we have the different families of Harley. The street motorcycles, they're the smallest engines. They have the 500 and 750 cc motors. Light, nimble, perfect for the ins and outs of the city. Liquid cooled, a good beginner bike. And they're about 490 pounds. Next up, you have the Sportsters. They're a little bit bigger motor, but they're a sportier version. So they're going to be a little bit more torque, lots of torque to power ratio. So if you're not, a lot of times I'll say a Sportster's beginner's bike. I don't think so necessarily. So I think it's a little bit tougher to learn on a Sportster, but maybe that's just me. We used to have the Dynas until about 2017. A little bit bigger bike, um, kind of if you're comparing the bikes to to chairs, a uh, Sportster is kind of like a bar stool. Dyna is more like a office chair, a little bit more comfortable. 103 cubic inch motor, six speed transmission, nearly as maneuverable, nearly the same maneuverability as a Sportster, but a little bit heavier. The Dyna family has the wide glide, the super glide, the well, oh, and the low rider. Then we had the old soft tail family that included the fat boy, the soft tail, the heritage. Looks like a hard tail, but the rear suspension was hidden. Whereas on the dinos, you can see the rear suspension on the outside. So going with that chair comparison, the soft tail family was kind of like the ceo's office chair a little bit more comfortable with the balanced motor made it somewhat smoother than the dynas when with the v-twin motor and now you have the new soft tail frame that started in 2018 and they redesigned the frame so that they could fit the milwaukee 8 motor into it which really gave it a great deal more performance value. You have the Milwaukee 107, Milwaukee 8 107 or 114 engines, very smooth, very easy to ride. And they brought the bikes from the Dyna family and the Softail family and combined them into the new, all new Softail family. So now we have the Lowrider Breakout, Softail Slim, Street Bob, Fat Bob, Fat Boy, Deluxe and Heritage Classic. And then of course we have the Touring Family. This started in 2017 with the Touring um, Milwaukee 8 motor has, has it in it now. Uh, the 107, the 114, and depending on the specific model, you might have liquid cooled heads. Depending on, again on the model, you're gonna have either the shark nose fairing, which is the road glide, which you can see here, or the Batwing fairing, which is on the street glide. These bikes were built for the long haul. No doubt about it. E easily cross the country, no problems. Again, comparing them to seat, it's kind of like the easy, easy chair, the Barker lounger. Very comfortable to ride long distances. Then you have the trike family. The trike family is the ultimate in comfort. It is on a bike chassis. The front end of this bike is still the front end of the road glide that you see on the left. It's the same bike until you get to the rear axle. So all the touring comfort and then you get a little bit more st storage with the trunk and tour pack on back. Last but not least you have the custom vehicle operations or CVO bikes. These bikes are the ultimate. If you were to take a, a regular road glide, even a road glide special, and you make it into everything that the CVO has, you're going to be spending a lot more money than it is for the price, ta price tag of the CV CVO bikes. Heated, groups, heated um, seats, depending on the model you've got, you're going to have saw bag speakers, you're going to have the custom paint, you're going to have all the chrome, or maybe all the blacked out, depending on what's going on with the bike. 
the look of the bike. Um, very VIN specific items like the tank badges and the paint. So premium stuff when it comes to the CVOs. All right, riding gear. What to consider? Helmets come, up, come in a variety of styles. You've got half helmet, three quarter, five eighths, modular or full face. Eye protection is required by New York state law. If you're wearing a helmet that doesn't have a shield, shaded or clear or transition when it comes to the eye goggles. Riding jacket, your choice between leather or nylon. Then you often have more choices after that. It's what if it's water resistant, waterproof, venting, reflective, and or has body armor. Gloves, not necessary, but definitely recommended. Again, you have your choice of leather, nylon, waterproof with gauntlets or without full fingers, fingerless. When it comes to pants, most riders do wear regular jeans, although you can get leather chaps or textile riding pants for even more protection. Footwear, you're definitely going to want boots that are over the ankle with a grippy sole. These will give you better traction when you put your feet down to hold the bike up when it comes when you come to a stop sign or stoplight. Rain gear, again, not necessarily not necessary, but we definitely recommend it if you're going on a long trip. What you'll want to look for is suspenders. Those help obviously keep your pants up. And for your riding gear, when it comes to the Harley riding gear, it's you're gonna want the same size that you wear because they are sized to fit over your riding gear. And heated gear, again, not necessary, but you might not want to be without it, especially, like I said, if you're doing a long ride, it comes in very handy and it can extend your riding season too in the early spring and late fall. You can get a heated liner to wear between your shirt and jacket or standalone heated jacket. Completely up to you. Helmets, you want your helmet to be tight enough to move the skin on your scalp, but not so tight to where it feels like it's squeezing your brain. A reminder that different helmet manufacturers fit differently, so try them all on. You might be a medium in one and a large in another. And the safest helmet that you're going to wear is the one you're going to ride. <laughs> The safest helmet is the one you're going to wear. Each style has its pros and cons. My boss is a little claustrophobic and it feels uncomfortable in a full face helmet. She usually wears a half helmet most of the year unless it's cold. Then she wears a three quarter helmet. Me on the other hand, I wear a full face modular where the whole front of an end of it flips up. It can be a little bit hot, especially like last summer. However, it's nice to have that extra added protection across the chin. And last but not least, helmets are non-returnable. This is for your safety because once they're at the store, we can't know if they've been dropped, which may damage the lining on the inside, preventing the helmet from working properly. Always shop for your own helmet, never for anyone else unless they are with you. There are so many styles, colors, and options to choose from these days. We've had customers spend five minutes finding a bike to buy, and then half a day finding their helmet. What to consider when buying riding gear? The venting will help keep you cool while riding. Both leather and nylon jackets can have zippered vents to open and allow the wind to pass through the jacket. Jackets that have quilted and or waterproof liners will help to keep you warm. It helps if they're removable that way as the day warms up you can take out the liner to help keep you cool. Reflectivity to increase visibility makes it easier for other drivers to see you especially at night. And then you have the body armor that can help protect shoulders and elbows. Can be found in some of the riding jackets. All of the Harley riding jackets do have the pockets though if you want to put them in yourself the pockets at the shoulders and elbows and you can buy your body armor separately. And last but not least, the zip-off panels, like the jacket liners, allow for the jacket to be worn through different seasons. You can see our guy in the picture is taking his jacket from a nylon to a mesh, which is more breathable. And when it comes to leather jackets, they should fit a bit snug to begin with. That leather will break in and get bigger. When in doubt, you can always ask us at the Motor Clothes 
department at FX of Prairie Harley Davidson to help you be fitted for jackets, chaps, and helmets. Did you know that in New York State you do not have to have a motorcycle license to buy or insure a motorcycle? However, we do advise that you take the basic riders course to get started. The BRC is aimed at beginning riders. A minimum of five hours classroom instruction prepares you for at least 10 hours of practical riding in a controlled environment. It will show you the skills and proper attitude you need to be a safe rider right from the start. Road test waivers. New York State DMV will waive the riding skills test portion of your motorcycle license endorsement if you successfully complete the basic riders course. So in other words, if you as long as you test out, you, you pass everything here at the course, you don't have to do it again in front of the DMV, which is very nice. Not to mention you'll get an insurance discount too. Many insurance companies offer discounts for your motorcycle and your driving insurance premiums for successfully completing the course. Because doing this also makes you a better driver as well as rider. All right, how long have you been riding on your motorcycle permit? You do need a motorcycle permit in order to take the basic riders course. A lot of people get the permit and then start out and just go learn to ride on their own. And then they'll forget to either go to the DMV and test or complete the course. Either way, they just keep, they've just been riding and riding and riding on their permit and haven't actually gotten that last step done to get the M endorsement on their license. Now, there's an MSF rider course for experienced riders to earn their license. Go legit, improve your skills on your motorcycle, and in a one-day BRC2 license waiver class, you can skip the DMV road test again as long as you pass. Those riders that have taken the Basic Riders course or Basic Riders course 2 say that they have greater confidence and they are happier once you once your rider coach hands you that MSF course completion card, you'll be happy, I know I was, knowing that you've gone the extra mile to develop your own safe riding techniques. Your introduction to the wonderful world of motorcycling has just begun. Then we have the Harley Owners Group, or HOG. HOG has been hitting the open road for more than three decades. Bonded by our passion for Harley-Davidson motorcycles, we share a taste for adventure, rebellion, attitude, and freedom. There are many benefits to being a national HOG member. For instance, you'll get a HOG touring handbook. Well, I should regress. You used to get a HOG touring handbook. It is still available through the HD app. Everything that was the Road Ready Atlas filled with useful maps, touring tips, and HD dealer info is all right now in the HD app. Let's see if I can't bring that up on my phone real quick so you guys can see. So in the app, you've got everything that you need. All the maps, right, easily accessible, and then finding a dealer, scheduling service, finding out events that are going on, so on and so forth. Plus, with your HOG membership, you get roadside assistance. You can put a competitive edge on your riding season and earn some cool prizes with HOG. The ABC's a touring contest and HOG mileage recognition and it doesn't cost anything to enter. Plus you'll get HOG member special rates with motorcycle insurance and shipping, hotels, and more. Nearly two years ago, actually it's longer now, um, than when I first created this, PowerPoint presentation. Anyways, it was what, 2014, I think, that FX of Prayer Harley had two stars from the hit TV show Sons of Anarchy. Here's Theo Rossi, or Juice, on the left, and Kim Coates, aka Teague, on the right. This is the kind of access we're talking about, from special pin stops and recognitions at Sturgis Motorcycle Rally or at your local Harley Davidson dealership. Questions. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Facebook.
And that pretty much sums it up right there. Race the rain, ride the wind, and chase the sunset. Until the next time, guys. Be safe and have fun.